Hello everyone. Welcome to not YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to implement pagination list API using MongoDB and Node.js. In my previous video, uh, advanced beta list API, I promise you we are going to add a pagination feature to this endpoint. We implement the filter list API, so we are going to add pagination uh, feature to this endpoint. So before we start the coding, uh, we see which MongoDB aggregate operators we are using to achieve this task. Okay, uh, I am going to use mainly four uh, MongoDB operators to achieve this task. Uh, those are now Passet, Limit, Skip, and Project. Uh, Passet mean uh, processing multiple aggregation file line within a single stage on the same set of input documents. Uh, that means uh, we have already five lines, so we are using Passet. We can run multiple aggregation pipeline within Passet uh, operator. So next, we are going to use limit uh, operator. The limit of function in MongoDB is used to specify the maximum number of results to be returned. That means we specify 10 documents to re uh, this limit function. It's only returned 10 documents. So in next one is skip one. Sometimes we need to return a certain number of results after certain number of documents. Uh, that means, let's say we get the first 10 documents in the DB and uh, using limit punch, uh, operator. So next we want to get, uh, after that first 10 documents, we get the next 10 documents. So we use skip uh, operator to do that. And finally, we use project uh, operator to uh, shape our document to uh, return. So it is a function in MongoDB passes along with document with only the specific field to the next stage. So using project, we can specify which field to uh, return in our output. So without more talking, let's start the coding part. Okay, first thing first, uh, first let's uh, declare some variables we need. Uh, we need the user input page number. Let's declare that. Uh, we get as it is query. And if a uh, user didn't give the page number, we can default set to page number one. So, query haram come as a string, so we need to convert it as a integer. Uh, I have used press int in here. Next, we are uh, declare uh, documents per page. Doc page and for now I give it is 5 and next we are declaring skip number so we need to skip top page multiply by page number to subtract one and next we need to set limit mm, i'm also used to docs per page to for that okay uh, now we are declared uh, we need uh, variables in here now let's implement aggregate part so in here again open the brackets and in here i am going to use passet and inside passet we can run multiple uh five line so i gave name as data and open the 
shortcuts and now I need to firstly I need to skip document so for that we can use uh, skip operator skip and pass the skip number and then we can limit the number of document we want so open the curly brackets and limit operator and pass the limit number so okay that's it and uh, now th we need to shape a uh, project our documents so I am going to use project operator in here and in here zero that's mean uh, id is not written in here because i gave it as zero now id field uh, not written in project so next we need to dock and in here I can give a declared variable so I am declared this is data as in here so this specific return data in here so okay uh, now let's uh, test the endpoint so we need to pass okay uh, now we need to pass page number so I am pass page and it's one okay uh, return document and here docs and we declare in here docs uh, field so uh, let's see how many documents return mm, one two three four five right because we are declaring here only a uh, limit uh, document five documents so that's why it is uh, return file. So let's see in here, tick up, uh, initialize two and check again. Okay. Okay, uh, now return two documents. So we need to ensure that uh, when we pass the another page, we are getting uh, correct results. So in here, uh, I can see Nigeria country and in here some and something so let's pass page number two in here so it is written country at n fire some something and this is India and now let's again change the in here four let's see what happened okay i'm here pass page number one and send the request okay as you can see in here country nigeria and second one summer and empire something and in here ashman empire and here india so our endpoint is working fine so now let's see uh, with filters is this uh, endpoint working so i am at this keyword in here so in keyword uh, we can filter by using author name or title so i am going to use this author and let's see what happens Okay, it is this, uh, only this author write this book in our data set, so it is written that. Okay, our pagination list is done, but uh, I assume that guys, uh, we can add more things to this project. So let's see, we want to pass the uh, page number to front end, so let's add this page attribute and pass uh, page number. Okay. Uh, in here I get fetch number so we, uh, we want to return that one okay uh, save again and send our request 
Mm, yeah, you can not see uh, our page number in here. Uh, for reason that because uh, in here our page number is one, right? In project one, it is uh, assume that we need our data page is uh, returned as one. So, but it is we want to uh, send uh, this one number so we can uh, return as a string in here. So, yeah. mm. Again, send the request. Okay, now uh, we send our page number as well. So, additionally, for this point, point I am going to calculate how many documents uh, in our database. So, I am also using some uh, aggregation operators to do this task. Uh, so, I am going to use um, call, let's say, this attribute. Uh, data info and in here I am going to use open curl packets and group keyword we are using this group keyword we can group the document again open the curl packets and id 0 this is not return, going to return id and okay, instead of the ID, and count. Okay, uh, for count, we going to calculation. So we can use some operator in here, and each time we need to add one. Let's form a document little bit okay and now we need to pass that document so I'm going to total docs in here and and in here data info okay mm, again let's send the request uh, Okay, in here something yeah uh, okay we get array in here but we don't uh, want that uh, let's just uh, this count number we can uh, use so for that um, let's again and Yes, uh, and we have a total eight forty-eight documents. So let's this count value assign to this total docs one. So to do that, I can uh, I need to get first attribute in this array. So we can first object actually first object not attribute. I'm sorry, and we can use uh, in here first operator in here so in mongodb we are used for that get uh, first uh, 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 first index of the array so search info dot let's it is uh, object so let's access by count okay uh, now save the again and send request Okay, now we get uh, four documents, and because we have uh, docs per page, uh, we declare the uh, initialize as four, so we get four. So in it is forty eight documents. So uh, there I have a twelve. Let's fast twelve. But let's see, get the data. Yeah, this is last four document. So let's see at the page number 13 uh, is our uh, aggregation pipeline work fine uh, this not will return any document only empty array so yeah our endpoint is working fine and that's it
that's the only thing to do we do to uh, develop pagination list if we want we can little bit shape document structure using zero because we, this is getting inside the array this, because this is a this space it return array so let's say one and change the page number and save again okay our endpoint working fine and yeah that's all uh, i hope you i enjoyed this video and we, you want more like like this video uh, and doing something cool uh, so please subscribe the channel then and until then again we meet uh, another video bye and have a nice day